Hi friends, welcome to Aerotech Solutions. Uh, this is Seishan and I want to give embedded system introduction. And here I am the trainer from uh, since 9 years. So here we are designed embedded system course on 3 levels. So this is very helpful for students who want to come to embedded core domain. And we are talking about the 3 levels of course. Uh, initially we will talk about the firmware engineer and IoT engineer and global professional from embedded domain and uh, as a as a fresher uh, people many people not not able to understand what is embedded system because someone will tell embedded system means microcontrollers microprocessors and other person will tell that concentrate on c language and some other person will tell that concentrate on robotic speed so like you may have different suggestions from different people but you should understand so uh, there is there is a sequence of embedded system uh, flow from non operating system to operating system and here we designed our course in three levels and the first level we are talking about the embedded c language under linux and also microcontrollers and protocols with embedded c programming and we will we'll allow to do applications on basic microcontrollers like 8 bit controllers 8051 arduino and pick microcontrollers so whatever the, the controllers you heard from your engineering background and whereas level 2 you are moving to two categories which is iot and automotive so whereas iot which will cover the topics on python programming with 32 bit boards because if you want to make it internet of things you may do applications with low end controllers like arduino wi-fi support and arduino with bluetooth support you need to take out your data from existence electronic system to internet so for that you can use any medium like wi-fi ethernet bluetooth any option you can take it so for that you have to know the next level of embedded domain uh, with a concept included even front end and uh, with python scripting so all this additional knowledge is required whenever you want to do make applications with iot and the third level we are moving to global professional which means you are moving to operating system level so embedded system as these two categories again so you will know in the next level next session on operating system and non-operating system differences also but take a review on these three levels the third level you are talking about the device drivers which in, which needs uh, from the person linux system programming Linux network programming and kernel programming all these modules you need to learn so then you are the complete person in embedded system domain by learning these three levels and we are adding one more domain which is embedded automotive which is emerging in the current technologies right now and after level one you are allowing to do candidates or moving to embedded automotive side with the knowledge of CAN protocol UDS and some other basic stuff uh, whatever industry is looking from the candidate and we are, we are able to do all these four domains so once you are interested uh, please join our organization for making a core domain or core career into embedded stream and we are following some different courses in aerotech solutions even full stack developers and for finance side we are allowing to do some oracle courses and we are doing some VLSI domain courses also. So please visit our organization for more, more information on different courses. But now I am the trainer on embedded domain. And here I just want to give some introduction on embedded system domain. So this, this will help to understand basically what is embedded system and what you are going to learn and what is the fundamental knowledge required to enter into embedded domain. You can test yourself whether you are suited for embedded system or not. And here, this is this is a simple embedded system introduction. And the fundamental definition on embedded system is, is very clear. It is a combination of software and hardware. So that is a basic equation. Everyone will tell about embedded system fundamentals. So whatever you are telling that embedded system hardware and software combination is embedded system, you need to justify with your skills. So based on hardware knowledge and based on programming knowledge. So just think as a common person, like what is electronic system basically. So the electronic systems are available right from calculated to industry level products. 
so calculator how it is working and how it is functioning i am just giving inputs from keypad and expecting some arithmetic operation or some trigonometric operations from scientific calculators so everything you are giving hitting some key from the keypad and which is giving some result for us see for from all this entire system simple calculator or industry products like if you go with some uh, process based system like uh, seed seed packing system from the plc industry okay so there is a packing section there is a cleaning section there is a uh, like cap sticker or labeling or in anything you take out from the industry even that entire machinery which is runs with simple controller card so this is how the people will design different electronic systems based on different works even nowadays even for uh, cleaning uh, the household items there is a electronic system and cleaning for floor there is a electronic system and finding bp sugar there is a pocket size system you can keep it in your pocket every time you can measure your blood sugar and in med in medical and in transportation like if you take out with your tracking system see minute to minute you can update or second to second you can update where you are going from where you are coming and where is your bus and where is your car and where is your vehicle everything you can find out through this tracking system because of technology see every reason you are finding one electronic system and to design this electronic system what is what is the fundamental thing and how your engineering is helping to you to design electronic system basically so whatever i done i written here so just understand this is the electronic system which is doing some work decided by the engineer and maybe you have different options as inputs maybe switch maybe sensor maybe keypad keyboard maybe card reader or maybe modem modem means you can take out any gsm module which is wireless or wifi module or gps module see these are all not connected through wire so you you may get through wireless signals this is comes under modem category and the system which will consist of one intelligent device inside so what way you can take it intelligent device what is intelligent device from electronics so intelligent device means which is accepts our program whatever the work you are expecting from the electronic system you need to tell in the form of program in the form of instructions in the form of code so whatever the group of lines you are telling it is a program or it is a code so that you need to write down that will be executed by only intelligent device so you see your resistors or capacitors not take care of your instructions the only intelligent device will execute your words so there is only reason i am telling this is an intelligent device okay what are the intelligent devices supports from engineering side maybe microprocessors maybe microcontrollers maybe digital signal processors so these are all you studied in engineering but you need to use for application purpose through your program that that will make your product okay and output side what you are finding generally from electronic systems mostly every electronic system will maintain one display unit compulsory so display means not always text it may be even indication like led indication green indication red indication fault indication through different colors and even there is a text display sometime there is a image display sometime on electronic systems okay so and few entertainment systems have audio video output like if you take ipod from ipod you never get any text you never get any video, uh, video. you will get only audio output so once you keep it your head, head headphone it it keep on playing your songs and whereas video games so this will allow both audio and as well as video and many products looking for audio video outputs and if you go for some other industrial products you will find some electrical loads as outputs like the entire three phase machinery or single phase machinery you have to control with simple electronic control card and from robotic field you will find different category motors stepper motor for arm preparation like so how your robo arm will come up come up and come down so because of some motor mechanism is there once you motor rotate motor clockwise it will your hands up once you rotate motor anti clockwise your hands will be down of the robot so this is constructed with different category motors dc stepper circuit so these are also you can design by using your embedded domain okay and modems so modems it will comes under both input category and as well as output category because they are able to transmit data or receive data so if you are taking as a transmission side it is output side and if you are receiving side it is a input side see this electronic system if you want to design 
so what is your approach so what are the different domains supported in electronics so as per i think these are all the words you may heard from your engineering microprocessors microcontrollers and assembly language c language embedded c language and fpga verilog vhdl matlab dsp ladder logic plcs these are all the words and about all these devices you may have some fundamental knowledge like you are able to write some addition program in assembly language or multiplication program in assembly language or prime number from c language or any any basic knowledge you may have but you need to strengthen your logical knowledge in embedded domain so once you design your electronic system by using microprocessors and microcontrollers as a intelligent device see even every system will maintain have some other additional hardware like if you open the motherboard of computer you will find so many ics so many resistors capacitors inductors and all but out of all this who is the important device processor of the mother processor of your computer because processor will take care of your operating system execution anything so, so developed by you with your c language see every electronic system is a combination of both hardware and software to develop your software you need to follow one language compulsory to develop your entire product system you need to maintain certain intelligent device along with intelligent device you need to maintain external hardware but from electronic system you have to focus on intelligent device like a brain in our human body once you are using microprocessors and microcontrollers with c language or embedded c language support if you develop a program that electronic system comes under embedded system see when i can call this electronic system is a embedded system if you use microprocessors and microcontrollers as a intelligent device to develop your program or software you need to use c or c++ nowadays people are moving even advanced c advanced c++ python also so by using this if you develop any system which is comes under embedded but when i can call the same electronic system is a vlsi system yes focus on intelligent device which is fpga FP, fpga full form is field programmable gate array and the language here verilog or vhdl once you develop your electronic system by using this combination this is vlsi system and the other combination is digital signal processor and matlab once you use this application with this combination it is a dsp system and if you are looking to develop application with automation area you have to focus on plcs and ladder logics see the language and intelligent device combination always decides the domain so now we are into embedded category so focus on this combination so if our course our course journey will start with this combination strengthen your skills on device side and strengthen your skills on language side that will make perfect person in the domain sir i want to become embedded engineer then proceed with c language standards proceed with microprocessor microcontrollers and all that that is the only reason once you join embedded system course they are talking about c language c++ python and microprocessors microcontrollers once you you just started you want to become vls engineer just please focus on verilog vhdl language and fpga device board if you want to become dsp engineer focus on digital signal processors with matlab programming skills and you want to become automation engineer just follow plcs and ladder logics this will make perfect person in the specific area so this is how people are decide their core their uh, like what is their career path okay so don't don't take like others help to choose your career because career is always selected by you and once you decide i want to go in this domain please focus on the required skills from the background okay and now we are into the specific stream we are talking about processors and controllers in our course so our course will continue for even some 40 to 50 sessions from now onwards please subscribe our channel for more videos on processors embedded system domain we will continue even we will we will teach linux we will teach c language we will teach embedded c and you will see applications and microcontrollers protocols and then you will enter into automotive depends on your interest whether you are looking for embedded automotive or embedded software so if you are if you want to become embedded software you will you will continue iot and device drivers and if you are focusing on embedded automotive you will focus on can protocol uds and all those topics now so 
Now, it, it is very clear what is processor actually. From any electronic system, you need to understand the basic phenomena or basic thing about processor is very clear. Processors are introduced by Intel Corporation in 1970s. The first microprocessor from Intel Corporation is 4 bit generation. So, any processor which is measured with bit capacity always because it, it, may, it is capable of uh, processing only binary data which is zeros and ones. So, that is the only reason you have to measure your processors with bit capacities. 4 bit means it can handle 4 binary bits and that too information in zeros and ones. Including 64 bit processor, it, can, it is capable of handling 64 binary bits. Okay, so that you need to remember. And then the next generation of 4 bit is 8 bit which is 8085 this is in our books from engineering or academics so even if you are a degree or any engineering student you can join in this course to enter into embedded stream so okay there is no doubt if, if you have electronics and computer science background you can do this course and there is a wonderful opportunities from the different companies so once you have good experience in these domains and then there is a 16 bit generations of processors which is 8018628636 and even there is a 32 bit generations of processors which are used in our previous computers. I think from colleges you may have heard P3 processor, P4 processor. So P stands for Pentium here. So Pentium version processors. And now the current generations of processors is 64 bit, which is I series, I3, I4, I5, I7. This is this is the different versions of I, I series processors. And even there are controllers in market, like so the first microcontroller is also introduced by Intel Corporation. But the difference between processor and controller, I will tell you with this simple diagram. But you need to understand what is processor and what is controller. So both are working on applications. You may use processor or you may use controller. But if you use controller, if you use processor, so what differences you will find towards applications, I will explain. But the controllers also introduced by Intel Corporation in 1982. The first microcontroller from Intel Corporation, which is 8031 with the capacity 8 bit so there is no 4 bit controller in the market they, they, they straight away designed 8 bit controllers to the market which is 8 bit 8031 8051 and next we have 16 bit controller from different manufacturers which is from microchip uh, which is pick family pick 24 series these are the most popular controllers names i am telling but even there are many microcontrollers with same capacities from other companies like avr AVR Studio, Arduino, so these are all 8-bit generation controllers, okay, but these are most popular microcontrollers you may heard for applications. Pick 24 series and next 32-bit generation controllers also there in the market, which are ARM based controllers. So LPC series is one of the most popular Philips Corporation family controller and STM32 from ST Microelectronics, STM32F103CA, this is one of the most popular controller from our academic side and even Raspberry Pi. So this is also one of the most popular 32 bit board you may heard from engineering. Even there are many other generation boards uh, are available in the market from different companies but there is no 64 bit generation controllers right now. They are working with 32 bit category. Now so let's see what is processor based system and how people will design processor based system and how to replace that processor based system with controller with simple simple things. See any processor based system if you understand so like take the example of laptop so laptop is a processor based electronic system so what is laptop so which will contain many components screen keypad but if you open the motherboard of your laptop you will find external hard disk which is saved your operating system and around processor there are many chipsets one is audio chipset one is video chipset one for graphics one for Ethernet, one for mouse, one for keyboard. See, many chipset I am finding along with processor because the processor never supports to connect input output devices. So basically, application means I have to connect some input. It may be sensor, it may be keypad, it may be keyboard, it may be card reader. As output, I want to connect some display, I want to connect some motor, I want to connect some electrical load. But your processor is not allowing to connect all those devices directly. So what it requires always external chips which are called as PPIs in the in the electronics. PPI full form is programmable peripheral interface. This PPI will take care of converting your input data into zeros and ones and 
what operation I need to take on the applied input that will be stored in the memory in the form of instructions in the form of program. So from that program it will take certain operation on the applied input then it will provide again output in binary format but binary format no one will understand as a common man I, can, I don't know what is 1011 value okay. So if you are an electronics person then only you can understand what is 1000 which is 8 okay but you need to convert again these zeros and ones information to user user format so that will be done by your ppis it may be audio not always numbers it may be audio output it may be video output it may be text output it may be number output anything which is done by your external ppis so which means any processor based system you take i just told laptop is one example even if you take any mobile phone or any any processor based product so this is the scenario inside around processor you have to add some ppis for the conversion of your inputs into zeros and ones again from output side your zeros and ones to output side so to the required output format so but this is very complex for the developers or application developers application developers always focus on three important points one is cost and size and power consumption so these three will play the major role from electronic systems like even if you want to buy a product as a person you are focusing on what is the cost of the product what is the size of the product what is the power consumption of the product to achieve these three the people are replacing your microcontrollers than processors see all low end products mostly they will design with controllers not with processors because processor is processor required all the things externally it may be memory it may be ppis but what controller is supporting us in built memory in built processor in built io lines everything which is supported in internally now this controller is becoming one chip solution for every product so there is the only reason in embedded technology people are focusing on controllers topic or controllers knowledge than processor knowledge in the low end okay so but now i am able to connect my input directly with the processor and i am able to connect my output directly with the processor and these are few example applications with processor based products and controller based products but processors are very complex processor based applications are very complex to design and develop because they need all external quantities external peripherals including memory if you are adding all things externally obviously circuit size is becoming more and how basically power consumption is becoming more and cost is more effective for me so i am replacing everything with a simple chip which is controller so this controller is becoming one chip solution in low end embedded products like glucose measuring product from medical side or water tank control system so everything i can replace with simple one controller unit and even in academic people will do many major projects and uh, on microcontrollers especially okay so how you can see the one big real time application with prototypes okay like robotics uh, obstacle detection robot or bluetooth controlled robot app controlled robot and uh, health monitoring system these are all the different applications they may do with controllers not with processor because the reason is very clear it is supporting on chip memory on chip io ports along with this there are many additional features like adc pwm and even for communication protocols like i2c spi uart usb these are all the supported features from the microcontrollers okay so this is the simple introduction as a engineer you need to decide what domain you are looking if you are interested in embedded domain focus on your skill set with controllers and processors with strong knowledge in c language in the next session we will talk about what is the difference between embedded operating system and embedded non-operating system thanks thanks for watching